Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is going to be a quick session covering the tool Forest. And for those who aren't aware, Forest is an application that allows you to essentially use your mobile phone as a way to build trees. And this might sound a little weird. Um, so the idea of this application is for you to reduce your phone usage across your day uh, when you're trying to focus on a specific task and allow using similar techniques to the Pomodoro to time how long you spend on a specific task and allow yourself to focus in on that specific task. So this is something that obviously is available from iOS and I did do a review, so I'll quickly give a snippet to you. I just exited the app. Uh, go back to forest immediately to prevent your tree from dying. Okay, so it's notified me already that if I don't go back, that tree will die. Okay, that's cool. Um, maybe if I wait a little longer, that tree will go and get killed, actually. Because um, I kind of want to demo it to be killed. Um, so let's say I jumped into this other app, you know, Yik Yak. Had a little play around. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, it's not it's not really doing anything. Okay, so let's say I jump back in. Okay, there you go. Uh, my tree died. Um, that was over a year ago now, and it's something I wanted to quickly revisit because I was aware uh, a while ago that Forest did bring out a Chrome extension, and I was quite excited that uh, I could be able to test it, obviously using the Chromebook. Um, up in the top right-hand corner, I have installed Forest. Um, and as you can imagine, it's a very simplistic application. Uh, as you can see, uh, sets you up nice and easy. Um, so the idea is you plant a tree every time you don't go on the sites that you uh, commonly go on that distract you. So for example, um, if I press start now, it will do a timer for 25 minutes. If in that period of time I went on a site that I specifically, black specifically blacklisted, it would ruin that tree and kill it off. And essentially the idea is to build up your trees and build up your forest. Um, and, and you can see all the statistics and your forest available on the app uh, on iOS and Android. Uh, but as you can imagine, it's a very simple web interface that allows you to continue that experiences uh, through here. And why I think this is great is actually because it is one of the things that, as you can imagine, across your day, this device you're using in front of you, if you're in the workplace or anything like that, is probably the most distracting thing. A lot of the time, most people aren't allowed their phones, um, so it's a very simplistic thing to do. But uh, a lot of people are focused on the computer, um, so this is something that is great. So before I show you how it works in practice, uh, what you can do is this. By hitting, by hitting this, uh, you can actually start the timer and get into it, which I'll show you in a minute. But you can access the settings up here. Um, so I'm just going to press into the settings. I've already done that. You get you know a simple display. First thing I would recommend is connect to your iOS forest uh, account so that you can sync everything. So I'm signed in here. Every time I do something on the web now, it will basically uh, go over to the forest account um, on the iOS and allow me to see all of the stats there, which is quite nice. So I can't see, one thing I can't see is all of the stats I've made so far. So obviously it's a bit of a kind of torn experience. Links to the other apps here. But here is the most important thing, and it's the blacklist. So as you can imagine, they automatically set you up with Reddit, YouTube, and Facebook.com. But let's say I didn't want to visit Twitter.com. Very simple, as you can imagine. Just type in Twitter.com, and it auto-highlights it as something that you're not going to go into. So what I'm going to do now briefly, briefly is go up here and press Start. So this essentially allows the, the, the birth of the tree. So as you can imagine, you can go off of that. Um, and let's say I went over to twitter.com. So wait till the page fully loads. Dun, 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 and then I'll go back over to forest settings. Just check in. And yeah, the tree died. Uh, and as you can imagine, they got some nice sharing buttons and they've got a back button to allow you to kind of go a bit more detailed. But let's say I wanted to, to change specifically the time that I had associated to this, so I can change it up to a whole, keeps going for ages, a whole two hours. Um, and what's nice about this as well, so let's say I'm on a site that I don't want to specifically type in. So let's say I'm on Trello, and I don't want to go into Trello for some reason. Uh, what's nice is if I'm on Trello, once it loads, 
uh, you can bring up the Forest Chrome extension and simply hover over, uh, obviously, when you're on and that, like, you've loaded it up, you press that, and it added the current site to the blacklist. So if I refresh this page, drum roll, Trello comes up as something on the blacklist. Very simple way instead of having to retype out on the blacklist every time. So if you can imagine, you're going across your day, you're like, oh, I'm spending too much time on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blacklist that and actually have that as something I'm not going to go on. And this basically will allow you to kind of build credibility uh, with yourself, uh, accountability with yourself, that you're not visiting those sites and deeming yourself as unproductive. Anyway, guys, that's a quick snippet into what the Chrome extension allows you to do. As you can imagine, a very simplistic experience that just really just touches on the surface of all of the features that Forest can do. So I recommend checking out all of these applications. Uh, I mean, the iOS applications is golden. Um, and it's something I'll link to in the description, the review of my iOS application for it, uh, and something that you should definitely check out. Anyway, guys, that's a quick and brief overview of Forest. I'm looking forward to doing some more videos soon. Make sure you have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.